our, our last bread here. This almost makes it look like I forgot to put stuff on the tray here, but this has a lot of flavor from just these few ingredients that uh, it's really impressive just how, I mean, you, you, you kind of see it and then by the time you start eating it, it really hits you on the back of the tongue there. All right. So we're going to start again with our mixes. And if you don't like lemon on this, you can, you can do an orange. You could uh, do the exact same concept with orange. If you did orange, you could probably frost it with something like a, a cream cheese frosting, kind of do a dreamsicle type of a, a setup, or, or just pretty much anything you can think of. And, and what I like to do a lot with, with different flavor combinations is I think back to things that I liked as a kid, or, or if you ever had a, a favorite soda or a favorite anything like that, and, and just kind of think, yeah, I could do that, and I could throw those flavor combinations and make something, make something completely new and different. Now this one right here, I've got a lot less water in here, and it really depends on, on the lemons that, that you use, because it calls for the juice of two lemons, and lemons always vary. And these, were, these actually I got a half cup out of, which I think on the recipe in there I said about a third cup, um, and it just really depends. So since I got a half cup out of the two lemons, out of the juice on that, I cut back on the water a little bit, but uh, you know, if, if you, you're sitting there and you're mixing it up and it's really thin, just take a little bit more mix and mix it in. You definitely want, it's easier to add more mix in than it is to water once it's, once it's in there and stirred up. So I put my lemon juice in there. I'm going to put my extract in there. Once again, just kind of let that all mix in there so it's not going to, it's not going to just be a spot of lemon extract. Otherwise, if you're the person that got that bite, you'd, you'd know it. And then at this point, we can just put our poppy seeds right in the, right in the mix and just kind of give that a stir through. And then also we can do the same thing with our zest. And it, does everybody know what lemon zest is? Comes from use a zester. Has everybody seen this before? You can buy these at any grocery store now. You see them, you see them everywhere. And what this does is it just takes off that nice yellow flesh part right off of the, the peel of the citrus fruit or orange or whatever it is. Um, and it, what it does is it keeps you from getting that white pith. And the, the pith part is the bitter part. And this, this has a lot of oils and a lot of flavor in this. So we can go ahead and dump that in there. And that gives a, a, a really good flavor also. And you'll find that with the zest and also with using the extract where it's not sweet, these aren't like lemon drop sweet type breads. This, this really gives you a, a nice kind of rounded flavor on that. Okay, so basically all you're gonna do with a zester and if some of you might have microplaners, which is it's like a little tiny cheese grater just for, for this, and you can get that. Those are really great. Uh, watch your knuckles if you're using those. But this right here, you just kind of put your thumb down, and you just pull back. And then it just gives you these, these really long strings. And what I'll do is I'll kind of line them up like spaghetti on a cutting board, and then I just run a knife through them just to get it to break up more or if you wanted to, to have strings running through because you figure if you're making the bread you're going to cut the bread up so even if you have the long strings it's going to cut that up and it'll it'll be good either way so I do I do unless you're you're really bored one day and want to see if you can make an entire track all the way around it and you're trying to get that longer piece but but I always find that it's, it's a lot easier just to start at the top and then you just get more out of, the, out of your, your fruit that way. And then some recipes don't even call for the juice. So if you're just using the zest, then set it back in there and it's still, still good. It will go bad faster than a piece that hasn't been zested yet. So, but uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty simple. So. All right, so we've got uh, all of our dry ingredients together and all of our wet ingredients here, so we're just going to pour that in. And uh, those poppy seeds really are a good, a good addition to the lemon here. It really just mixes in well and, and, it, and it just kind of gives you a, a nuttier flavor in with that. Just uh, So I'm going to go ahead and put this on in. Let's 
see uh, how the, oh, they're coming up here. Okay, so now as far as checking these to be done, I like to use a, a wooden skewer or bamboo skewer. I just like them because they're, they're less evasive. I mean, you can just get in there and get out. You're not leaving a big hole. You're not tearing a, make it look like somebody was eating off the top of your bread or something like that. But butter knives work, um, pretty much fork, anything like that. Any, anything works, but I like it. They're, they're, they're pretty accurate as far as it will cling to it if it's still, if it's still uh, moist there. So let's see here, let's try one. So yeah, so I don't know if you can see that. But, uh, and you, you wanna look as far as what, it, what it's doing there too, is it's heating up from the outside in. So even though you're checking right in the middle, because that's, that's the part ultimately that you want to make sure is done, once it gets you know, to about that big, it's going to go pretty quick. So don't think that, wow, man, that's still really, really wet in there, so I'm going to, I'm going to give it another 15 minutes. Because once you're pretty much at that point, if, if you're thinking that you're pretty close, just take it out, you know, use a clean one or clean it off, and then stick it a little farther away, and that'll kind of give you your gauge on, on where the, where the clean you want to get it out of there. Because it's still going to do a little residual cooking in the pan, just like meat or anything like that. There's a lot of heat built up in there right then. And, and you can even, I, I even do it, if you, once you kind of get a good hang of it, you can kind of just get a little bit of, of, of uh, the wet ingredient to come out on there, and then pull it out, and then let it finish cooking out there. And it really stays nice and moist if, if you can kind of time that right. But, that, that kind of comes as you, as you get going.